years after we started Patrick in Santa Ana, it got to the point where first we had one parking lot. And of course, we didn't even ask permission for the parking lot. We just kept doing it. And then um, our friends, the, Har the Harveys that had the Harvey seatbelt bags, they had the parking lot next door. So they're like, use our lot too. So then we had two parking lots. And then, um, I, you know, I knew people in the city from starting the farmer's market, the main police officer who did events finally called me. He's like, Delilah, I'm getting all these faxes. <laughs> like, you got to pull permits now. I'm like, okay, I guess it's official. We're an official event. Um, so then we started, two years into that, when we finally started getting permits and doing it legitimately, um, we had some people from Long Beach show interest and they wanted to have a patchwork. So we started a patchwork at Marine Stadium. And that just was a success, like, first time out. And then we started doing street closures in, in Santa Ana. It was up by my old source. That was like North Main Street over by, you know, Bowers Museum. And then uh, I finally moved my store to downtown. And with that, we ended up blocking off like three streets. And it's great. I don't know. It brings a lot of people together. There's a lot of interesting makers. A lot of people launch their businesses at Patchwork. And there's people who you know, started off, they did their first show at Patchwork. They were so nervous. They didn't know what to expect. You know, they stayed all up, up all night preparing. And now they're, they have wholesale orders. You know, now they're, this one person, Sweet Perversion, she does um, greeting cards. Um, she's selling to like Hard Rock Cafe in Vegas. Like, she's just doing amazing stuff. I mean, people are, some people open up retail stores as a result. Some people, you know, are like some of the highest sellers on Etsy now. And they started at Patchwork and it's just, it's amazing to be a part of that experience for somebody, to give somebody an opportunity to turn their passion into their business, which led to our conference because, you know, starting your own business or doing freelance, there's so much that you have to learn and sometimes you have to learn it the hard way, which is, you know, maybe spending money when you didn't think you needed to and having that community of people who are going through the same process or the same hardships or the same difficulties, there's oftentimes not a lot of time to communicate that to each other or to exchange ideas. So we started creating our conference to kind of address those things and to create a place for people to get business skills, to recharge their batteries. You know, if they're in creative, creative ruts, they can go and take workshops to kind of break that and to just connect with other business owners so they feel like they have a network and support. Well, you guys have to go. People walk out of there, they're crying, because they're like, I, I'm not going to, you know, leave you about it, but you, uh, they feel support, and you know, it's a very isolating, having your own business, it's very isolating, and you feel like nobody understands what you're going through, and at this conference, you find what you need, and you, you kind of break some barriers, and you meet new friends, and make new connections, I mean, people have gotten book deals from going there, like, Story's one of our, our, um, one of our sponsors. And we've had like three or four people get book deals out of this.